Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boys Unknown. Halo Infinite is finally becoming a real game with the winter update. Right off the bat, this is a good update, but unfortunately, it is on the worst, darkest timeline. Yeah, we are actually happy about this update, and I know that's probably surprising for a lot of you. You think we just like to come on here and hate on Halo, but we gotta say, this update is actually good. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a real Halo game. It's got Forge. Forge is actually here. Now, Forge is a little bit buggy, and don't be inactive because you'll get kicked for inactivity and lose your progress okay so be aware of that but now that we have forge it's time for the community to take over and do what 343 has failed to do in this first year of this game being out make all those fun forge maps make the missing game modes and they already are doing it halo infinite is being saved not by 343 but by the community the forge lads and ladies are making crazy stuff and they're doing it really fast the community made infection in literally five minutes with having forge it's pretty crazy and now that people are getting more comfortable with it the creations are already starting to pop up they're already crazy you can already start playing them and it's a whole lot of fun thank god for the customs browser that we have unfortunately if you aren't a youtuber or if you aren't part of a community where you can get guys together like if you don't have a ton of friends it's tough for the individual player to maybe access these games which is unfortunate because there is no browser in matchmaking where you can find custom games so that is unfortunate we did try out forge and let's just say it is very difficult if you are a beginner yeah but also we really weren't looking at the controls and we were just trying to <laughs> do forge like it was halo 3 forge i'm not a forger i couldn't figure it out for the life of me however there's so many tools here that i can't wait for the community to use and, and make cool shit with forge is incredibly impressive they're talking about adding ai scripting and all kinds of other shit so that's pretty exciting forge fucking slaps and there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff coming by the community made with love after that we obviously got the two forge maps added now right off the bat argyle it got removed in the game immediately because it was crashing so that is i mean it is 343 we're working with here so argyle got removed you can't play it in matchmaking yeah you had to expect some major bugs on the other hand detachment which is the one with the grab lifts and the teleporter that map kind of sucks. <laughs> that map <laughs> kind of shit. It's uh, not very fun. It's kind of too big. It should be, yeah. you need 5v5 for that, I think. Maybe some different game modes on it. Yeah, I mean, look, I can't speak for the Argyle that got removed, but that's the Forge maps that took 3 3 like a year to make, and the community has already, within a day, made insanely way better maps. So that just shows what love and passion can do for you. But what else we got? Joint Ops. I'm going to come out quickly and say Joint Ops is not it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a complete waste of f***ing resources, dude. Can you imagine? Yeah. They already gambled and failed with Last Spartan Standing, right? And now they're like, let's do Joint Ops. I know they probably were working on them closer to the same time, but Joint Ops just, it's okay, but it's, it just isn't it. Joint Ops sucks. Why didn't they just put those resources into something they knew was going to be a f***ing banger? Like, just put the resources into Infection. Imagine if it was Infection instead of Joint Ops, the community would be so much more hype, and that playlist would be bumping. But, you know, Joint Ops, kind of gimmicky. I can imagine it going the same route of last part and standing kind of like a failed mode and of course with the rotating playlists that are coming they took out team snipers they still have social slayer and they put some of the fun bt battle modes in too big t battle so they're rotating stuff around and rotating playlists is another thing that's nice to see but it does suck because they did take out team snipers they did take out social big team and they did take out bot arena which some people are rattled about but i mean why because you have the training mode still so let's just chill here boys you can play against real players it's not that big a deal and i will say too they're xp beta system makeshift progression system obviously not even close to enough we need more from it <laughs> yeah but it does help it feels better yeah when you end a match you don't feel completely pointless you at least achieve something yeah so there is that it does help it's pretty basic and if you do run out of battle passes or free passes it is like functionally useless i guess because <laughs> that's it i don't know right like what is the point of that if you don't have a battle pass that you're working on uh, will it even pop up i don't know but yeah so that's nice and co-op campaign works and there's new achievements we did not run into any problems yeah i mean we got pretty bored of it <laughs> it's a little late uh, to say the least co-op campaign i mean come on fellas listen this update does not make up for all the things 343 has done or not done i should say with this game i mean the fact that we're getting this a year after launch obviously this game is missing so much still and we still need a lot more to come and the time
timeline for getting things is so painfully slow that I will get bored of this game very quickly again. However, this update was very good and I'm glad to see it come to the game. It's a good step in the right direction. Gaming as a whole feels like it's in such a better place. Like now that Halo Infinite can be actually put in the rotation of games and now Modern Warfare 2 is a lot of fun. Think about last year, three stinkers. The FPS genre was in a tough place for the console boys, but gaming feels nice right now. I've seen a lot of the Halo community kind of saying Halo is back. This update is fixed infinite. It's now the funnest, best game ever. Now, uh, I appreciate their enthusiasm and their excitement. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I mean, the fellas need to chill. The fellas need to chill. I know YouTube. I know the game of YouTube, boys. I know the game, but we need to chill a little bit. But like we said, overall, great update. All right, boys, like and subscribe. See you later.